Okay, but the first step is to flash the controller software. And to do that, there's two choices. So uh, I boil this down to two choices. There, there's some other things out there, but it's as simple as uh, Mission Planner or Q Ground Control. I did have a little bit of a challenge. I use a Mac. Uh, you couldn't figure out to start with how to get Mission Planner to, to even run on my Mac. Um, I, I did a bunch of research, figured out a few things, and basically tracked down um, the mission planner that is published as sort of like a an internal, not fully supported version um, by Michael Oborn, uh, who is the uh, basically the maintainer of the uh, the mission planner software. And there's a published version, um, someone called James Patterson on the mission planner blog board forum. Uh, helped me to find the download for that and so I've downloaded and installed it and fired it up on my Mac uh, it's on the screen and it should be working I'm gonna try that first you know from everything I've read Mission Planner is sort of in a sense the gold standard for working with Ardu Pilot and the alternative is uh, QGround Control which is another set of ground control uh, ground station software and it runs on a Mac so when I was trying to get Mission Planner to work on the Mac. I couldn't figure it out. I fired up, downloaded Ground Control, a cube Ground Control, installed it, and it just installs. And it installs as a proper Mac installed application, which I like. Um, it's signed, it's managed through um, the standard Mac install um, process. The Mission Planner version is a download. You download it onto a, a, into a folder, and then you run the app directly. Um, it's not really installed, um, and I don't know. It's it, and it seems to be like a wrapper around uh, Xamarin and um, some kind of .NET um, development that is going on in the back end. I think it, on the screen it works, but um, well, we, let's let's see what happens. Technically, what should happen now is that plug in the ground station. So Mission Planner should recognize that it's connected and ask me what I want to do and I should tell it that I want to install the firmware that I've already downloaded, I'll provide the link, and uh, we should be off to the races. And if that doesn't work, uh, I can try, because I have it ready to go, QGround control, and so I'll, um, I'll try that, and if that doesn't work, um, then for example, if I, no matter what I do, I can't install the software on the on the, the controller then I'm going to have to do a bootloader based install and I um, again can try that with uh, Mission Planner or through Ground Control and if none of that works I might have to try and get myself a Windows machine but I don't really want to do that I love my Mac so I'm going to try to make this work somehow okay um, Next step, um, I'm just going to quickly start recording the screen so you can see what I see. All right, so if all goes well, I am now recording and you can see what I see. So um, the instructions, as far as I understand it, um, from watching the Panelist 360 and Joshua Bardwell videos mostly, is um, that I simply plug this into my USB port and then plug in my fix racer using its USB port. And magic happens. Oh, I have a connect. Do I? Let me see. Oh, I did. Ooh, I've got I've got lights blinking on the fix racer. Well that seems good. I don't know what the lights mean. I'm blinking I've got orange light blinking. I wonder what happens if I try to connect. Well, oh, waiting for ports. Okay, I click the connect button. It's connecting. I'm getting a connect. Something seems to be happening. Alright, so progress. This is, looks like a good start. And 
new firmware available, Copter 4.07. Um, okay, I'm going to say, first I'm going to say don't show me that again, because I don't care about it. Mm, let's not do that. I might as well see that again if it wants to show me again. Um, but I really don't want to, this comes with, um, uh, I think it's Articopter pre-installed, which, um, as I mentioned before, I'm not going to use. Um, uh, I'm not going to use Articopter, I'm going to use Plane. So um, I see I got an unexpected error. I wonder what the details of that are. Timeout waiting for a mandolin device. Uh, mission plan of main. Uh, I don't understand what the error message means. And, but I, I seem to be connected. So I'm going to go to config, I think. Um, no, I'm not. I'm going to go, wait a second, to set up. Install firmware. All right. You cannot load new firmware while connected via NavLink. Please connect the disconnect button at the top right to end the current NavLink set, um, session and update the bootloader on your hardware to the newest version. All right. Well, I will disconnect then. And um, I'm going to go. So you notice the Arduino plane is what I actually want to do. Um, and I want to, that's 4.09 is the official version. And I really want to go with 4.10, uh, 4.1.0. So I, um, I think that means I go to advanced. And the answer is I can't find that. So there must be an option here somewhere. I'll load custom firmware. There we go. Let's try that. Perfect. So, oh my god, I hate the Windows dialog boxes. That is so bad. So, under I do plane on my external drive, oh, is that not showing me anything? I should have. Okay. Ah, I see. It's asking for permissions. And if I go in here, I've got, okay, so the uh, Microsoft, uh, sorry, Windows OSX was making sure that Mission Planner was allowed to do what I wanted because I have this installed on an external drive. And there we go, there's uh, my 4.0 beta. Um, here's the Arduplane APJ, API file. And is that APJ or API, I think? Maybe that looks like an APJ. I think it's APJ. Let's, let's try to do this. So I've selected that, loaded the custom firmware. I'm waiting for it to give me an option to do something. What is it doing? So I've selected the customer. Ooh, something's happening. Okay. Blue lights are flashing on the device. Uh, the mission plan on the computer told me nothing. No idea what was going on there. And now I've got, I have blue lights flashing, I've got blue and red lights flashing, and I've got orange lights flashing. Again, no indication of what that means or whether that's good or not. And whether I should wait longer. I have no idea. should take a risk around pressing the status button to see what's going on maybe it will tell me should I? I have to no it doesn't tell me anything okay I'm just going to wait I wonder if those blue flashing lights mean it was doing something because this looks a whole lot like what it was looking like before I um, I don't want to do something like um, interrupt it in the middle of it doing something and then pricking it. I mean, in worst case, I have to force the, the, the bootloader update. I don't want to do that. Um, 
wonder if I can see. The screen doesn't pop. Oh, error, no response from board. Oh, I don't know when that popped up. Okay, so definitely the computer is not communicating with the board. I think the board's not doing anything. I'm hoping it's actually installed and rebooted already, but um, okay, I'm going to try connecting and see what happens. Well, we've got connection, it's talking. No, it's still saying that it's installing Copter. I have to install Copter, I want to install RD Plane. Let's connect. Alright, I'm going to go with install. I'm going to try installing the official version. So let's just see if we can get that. Fail to detect port to upload to. Does that mean I have um, broken it? Let's connect. Well, that was a bad idea. I clicked on something. Now I have no menu, nothing on the screen, nothing works, and I have no error message or anything. This is pretty hopeless. Well, I'm not impressed so far. Oh, something happened. Look at that. Okay, advanced parameters came up. So I guess it was doing something. It didn't tell me it was doing anything, but I guess it was doing something. So, okay, I don't really need advanced parameters. Um, right now, I'm looking for the part that I've seen in the videos um, where I should be able to go and configure um, the basics of the... Uh, is this where we are? But it still seems, still tells me that I'm running. Pod rotor. I don't want to run pod rotor. I want to run RD plane. And it doesn't look like. I'm, I'm sure RD plane hasn't been installed, but nothing actually happened. I really can't tell. Nothing tells me what firmware is actually running on the machine. How, how can I find out what's actually installed? Have I, am I still running Arducopter on here, or have I installed the Arduplane and which version of it? There must be a way to find out somewhere. Find Pix Racer here. There's Pix Racer. Okay. Version 
please pick a file to download. And they're all Articopter. Oh, here's an Arty plane. Here we go. Beta firmware. Plane 4.10 beta. Are you sure? Okay. Well, now it's doing something. That seems. Okay. Failed to detect data port to upload to. What am I supposed to do with that? I mean, it can connect to the device, but then when I try to flash it, just says it can't find the data port. Okay, I'm um, tired of this. So I'm going to quit my mission planner and I'm going to try start the ground control. Stabilize flight mode. Vehicle is not running the latest version of software. Running 3.6.12, the latest stable version 12. Okay, group two ground control is now talking to. Check firmware or frame class. Pre-arm. Throttle below fail safe. Pre-arm. Hardware safety switch. Pre-arm. RC roll not configured. Pre-arm. RC pitch not configured. Pre-arm. RC throttle not configured. Pre-arm. RC ball not configured. Well, that all sounds quite good. It's telling me a bunch of things. Okay, ground control can upgrade the firmware from Pixel devices. All two ground control must be disconnected prior to firmware upload. So please disconnect, unplug your Pixel. Hardware safety switch. Pre-arm. RC roll not configured. Pre-arm. RC pitch not configured. Pre-arm. RC throttle not configured. Pre-arm. RC ball not configured. Firmware. All right, so now it's saying plug it in. I want it's asking me it's detected pixel aboard. The flight stack is PX4 Pro. So let's see. No, I want an Arduino pilot. And I want to select plane. And I want to go the beta version. You know what? I'm going to go with the stable version since I'm having so, many, so much fun with this. Pix Racer 4.0.9. Go. Well, okay, this is just a pleasure. I had no idea what was going on with Mission Planner and couldn't make it work. Um, Cube Ground Control, as you can see, plugged it in a couple of clicks. Upgrade complete. Initializing flight mode. Beginning INS calibration. Do not move plane. Manual flight mode. Throttle fail safe on. Fail safe. Short event on. Type equals one reason equals three. Circle flight mode. Fail safe. Long event on. Type equals two reason equals three. Return to launch flight mode. Well, that's awesome. So it's come back up. I think that the orange solid, the flashing, steadily flashing light, it means we're good. Um, the screen shows uh, one or more vehicle component components may require a setup prior to flight. Well, yeah, for sure. 
I haven't configured anything. I haven't plugged in anything. So I haven't even got a a, a, a receiver running. So that makes sense. Um, so let's see. I should be able to do. Calibrate the accelerometer. So as far as I know, there's an accelerometer built in here. Um, and I'm going to assume that I'm basically just mounting this in the direction of flight, which um, is not completely obvious which way that should be. I'm guessing uh, potentially the arrow from the fixed racer pointing towards the flashing light might be the way. Um, but I can recalibrate it later, so I just want to try this. Just let's see if it's actually doing something. Alright, so first I'm actually going to line this up here so that I have a, a, a way to, to, manage, to manage it. So I've got that crease on my board that's basically going to be um, back forward. That's the front of the plane, so I'm holding it still. So now I will say press next when ready. Where's the next button? I don't see a next button. Oh, there it is. Okay, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. So let me click next. All right. Now I put it uh, this way. Upside down, but pointing that way. I don't know if that matters that much, but next, and it says it needs to reboot, so off it goes. Initializing flight mode, beginning INS calibration. Do not move plane. Manual flight mode. Throttle fail safe on. Fail safe. Short event on. Type equals one reason equals three. Circle flight mode. Fail safe. Long event on. Type equals two reason equals three. Return to launch flight mode. One or more components require setup. Yeah, that's true. Um, we have our green on our flight modes. And I think we probably have. Ah, the, the accelerometer has, um, the red light has disappeared off the accelerometer, which is awesome. So, um, so we've calibrated that. I haven't plugged in the compass yet, and I really can't do that inside right now, so um, I, think, I think we're good in the sense of, um, you know, I have a uh, updated flight controller now running uh, argue plane 4.0.9 stable so maybe that's a good idea to stick with that it would be very easy the UI from Q ground control gives me a very easy and simple option to uh, install the beta version of 4.1.0 the only thing that's not clear is the there's two 4.1.0 betas on the list um, with nothing to tell me what's different between them maybe they're the same um, but uh, uh, yeah here's my summary um, I've got the set of flight modes I've got setup required on my compass um, I don't have battery map motor uh, battery um, camera or radio set yet so that would probably be the next thing to do but um, you know I'm, I'm really actually pretty happy with this and um, so far, I'm loving Q Ground Control. It is nice, simple, straightforward. The user interface is clear. Um, it doesn't run Windows software, which I loathe, and um, uh, it just works, uh, which 
is you know the goal for what I'm looking for here. In um, in some respects, you know, I've, I've I wanted to go with Mission Planet because it seems to be more sophisticated and have more options. But I am a newbie, I'm a beginner, it's the first time I've ever done this, so, uh, you know, maybe it just works, is what I'm looking for, and maybe that's what you're looking for. So, I'm going to um, stop that video now, um, and I am going to, uh, let's see, so we've got the accelerometer set up. I'm not really sure I understand where the, um, the safety switch goes. Maybe that's what this is. The buzzer. See, we've got this little buzzer and button thing. And we've got a power, a button for it. But I don't really know what I'm supposed to do with it. And I can't really see anything on the screen that tells me where it would go. Um, Army checks enables. I see I'm in my altitude. Oh, look at that. 10,000 centimeters. What a strange um, measure to use. Wouldn't meters make more sense? Um, 100 centimeters in a meter. So this is um, this is 100 meters. ITL minimum altitude is 100 meters. It seems like very high. That's a strange number of way to do it. Um, so I think what I need to do next is to connect a radio, um, that's pretty much what I want to do, um, and once I have a radio, then it might make sense to do a little bit more configuration, and yeah, once I have a radio, then I can probably look at putting some um, servos in there, um, so I can sort of mock up a, a plane. Okay. Well, thanks for joining me on this first stop on my um, Tim the Plane Man Plane Time Ardu Plane Edition. Basic configuration of my Pix Racer R15 with a new firmware um, is 4.0.9 stable, is now done, complete. I figured out I'm going to be using ground, Q ground control until I run out of steam with it. I'm not going to spend any more time on Mission Planner at this point, and I think what I need to do next is a little bit more research and uh, plug in some additional hardware. Um, I've got a receiver that I plan to use, I have to figure out how I connect it, and I'll be back when I have some uh, next steps. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe. This could be an interesting journey. You might find it uh, fun and hopefully uh, let's see if we can learn something together. Bye for now.